Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Phone FPV, and today I'm going to show you how to use your Jumper T16 with the simulator on your computer. So you can see I am running DRL Sim, and if you look at the bottom, my thing says no hardware, even though my Jumper T16 is plugged in and all set up on the controller. So I'm going to show you how to get it to work with the computer because it does not have the right drivers. So what you're going to do is first, obviously, you want to turn on your Jumper T16 and then plug in your USB cable. And then you will see that on the screen, it should say USB joystick and USB storage. You want to select USB joystick because that's for the simulator. So then what you want to do is you want to go to control panel. And actually, we can just type in device manager and that will help us get there faster. So you're just going to search device manager in the little search bar in Windows. And then what you want to do is you want to go to right here. It says LIB USB Win32 devices. And under that, it's going to say better USB HS. So right click that and click update driver. Then you're going to click browse my computer. And then let me pick from a list of available drivers. And then you're going to select USB input device and click next. Then it's going to say Windows has successfully updated your drivers. Now, once we go to the simulator, boom, it should recognize it right there. And everything now works as it should. So on the controller, you want to have a new model just for the simulator. And I'm going to show you the settings that I put on my model in order for it to work because it is a bit different than a normal model would be. So I am selected on Sim for simulator. And I'm going to show you the settings that I use. So under model setup, I put simulator as a model name just to help me know which model is which. All the timers you can leave off because you don't really need them. Everything is roughly the same, but here's where it gets different. So you can see internal RF I have off and external RF is off. You want to make sure those are off so it doesn't transmit and waste battery and there's no reason to have it on because you have no receiver. Everything is roughly the same, just like a normal model from here on. So you can see under my mixer tab, I set up two aux switches that I can use for reset and restart and stuff like that that can be configured in the simulator. So I would go ahead and create like two aux switches that you can use. Outputs is the same. Curves are the same. Everything is just going to be default. And that's all you need in your model for the simulator. 